Welcome to an example on how to solve an application problem using a system of linear equations. In this example, we're given that movie tickets cost $7 for adults, $5.50 for children. There are 218 seats in the theater. A total of $1,463 was collected in ticket sales for the sold out Saturday matinee. How many adults and how many children were in the theater? So there are three parts to this question. Part A, write an equation representing the total number of tickets sold. B, write an equation representing the total amount of money collected from the sale of all tickets. And then finally C, we want to solve the system of equations and answer the question. Let's highlight the important information here. Adult tickets cost $7 each. Children's tickets cost $5.50 each. There are 218 seats in the theater. A total of $1,463 was collected and the theater was sold out on this day. So there are two unknowns here. We don't know how many adult tickets were sold or how many children's tickets were sold. So let's use variables to help us remember what these represent. So let's use A for adults and C for children. So A is equal to the number of adult tickets and C is equal to the number of children's tickets. To write the equation representing the total number of tickets sold, the important information here is that there are 218 seats in the theater and it was sold out on this day and therefore there had to be 218 tickets sold. So for our first equation we'd have A, the number of adult tickets, plus C, the number of children's tickets, must equal 218. Now for part B, we're asked to write an equation representing the total amount of money collected from the sale of all tickets. Well, the adult tickets cost $7 and the children's tickets cost $5.50. So the total amount of money collected would have to be $7 times the number of adult tickets, which is A, so $7 times A plus $5.50 times the number of children's tickets, which would be $5.50 times C. This must equal the total amount collected, which we know is $1,463. So for our second equation, we'll simplify and drop the dollars. So we'd have the equation 7A plus 5.5C equals 1,463. So our system of equations consists of this equation and this equation. So for part C, we want to solve this system. Let's go and do this on the next slide and then we'll come back and answer the question. To solve this system of equations, we can use addition or substitution. Because we can easily solve this first equation for A or C, let's use substitution. So if we solve this first equation for A, notice that A would be equal to 218 minus C when we subtract C on both sides. Now that we have this first equation solved for A, we'll substitute 218 minus C for A in the second equation. So performing that substitution, we'd have seven times the quantity 218 minus C plus 5.5C equals 1,463. Next, we'd clear the parentheses by distributing here. Seven times 218 is equal to 1,526, and then minus seven C plus 5.5C equals 1,463. Combining the like terms here, negative 7C plus 5.5C is negative 1.5C. So we have 1,526 minus 1.5C equals 1,463. We'd subtract 1,526 on both sides. Simplifying. We have negative 1.5C equals 1,463 minus 1,526 is equal to negative 63, dividing both sides by negative 1.5. Simplifying, we have C equals negative 63 divided by negative 1.5 is equal to 42. So this tells us there were 42 children's tickets sold and therefore there were 42 children in the theater. And now we'll find A using the equation A equals 218 minus C. So A is going to be equal to 218 minus 42, which equals 176. 
So we know there were 42 children in the theater and 176 adults. Before we write this as a sentence though, let's check this solution. To check the solution, we want to make sure it satisfies both of the equations in our system. So for a plus c equals 218, we would have 176 plus 42 equals 218. And this sum here is 218. So this checks. We also have to check the second equation, 7a plus 5.5c equals 1,463. So we'd have seven times a is 176 plus 5.5 times c, which is 42, equals 1,463. So this product is 1,232, and this product is equal to 231, and this sum here is 1,463, and therefore our solution also satisfies the second equation. So going back to the first slide, let's now put our answer in a sentence. Again, our solution was A equals 176 and C equals 42. So the question was how many adults and how many children were in the theater? We can say that there were 176 adults and 42 children in the theater. I hope you found this helpful.